Shout out to YouTuber Dre B for informing me on this interview with 50 Pennies praising and lusting feminism. Now we will see why and how 50 Snitch earned his satanic hella weird star of shame. And he's earned it, trust. We all know that you have a, a great relationship, brotherhood with Eminem. Is there any possibility that we may see a collab album? Or would you even think of considering a versus just for the culture? Not as a competition, but just for the culture. Because I don't really see you competing with right, anybody yeah. else. And, and that's a tough, a tough, if anybody's thinking of, of doing that type of competition with Eminem, they should stop. They should stop thinking that shit right away because it's not going to turn out good. <laughs> no, nope. it's not going to work out. And it's not a good idea to, to fuck with him because I don't, I don't really feel like there's a lot of people that are on the same level. At all, at all. Yeah. Now his whole hip hop past needs to be burned. Hell, his black past should have been destroyed. And saying some ish like that, what he's saying is a major disrespect against all the pioneers of hip hop. Grandmaster Kaz, Melly Mel, Kool Mo D, Cool G Rap, Rakim, Big Daddy Kane. But what's really sad is that some of these pioneers today, they would co-sign. And we know the real reason why. Because like the black authority said on Big Daddy Kane putting feminism on this pedestal above himself. While we, the true loyal hip hop community, are continuously trying to protect these brothers' legacies. They're just giving it away. And look at how this interview is playing along. Now this is another brother. A brother who, you know, he may be within that age group of the earlier uh, followers of hip hop, of the pioneers of hip hop. And look at how he's playing along. Obviously, they are both being paid to praise Master Marshall. Bro, you know, at Marshall Mathers LP sold 22 million copies. Alone. Yeah. I think it went to 23, it was like 22, 23. I was like, and his record sales, is right where he left off to, still number one. You know, it's pretty tough for you to question it, right? And we know why that is. Y'all know damn well that it ain't just about Feminem's skills, because if that were the case, Vanilla Ice would not have outsold so many rappers, so many rappers that was out at the time that he was out, like Rakim and Big Daddy Kane. And they didn't even come close to Vanilla Ice in album sales. And I'm going to say this again, despite who is more skilled as an MC, Vanilla Ice was actually way more hip hop because he did more elements in hip hop, like dancing and beatboxing. And it's more likely that blacks would have listened to Ice Ice Baby over most of Feminem songs because at least Vanilla Ice had more rhythm and he didn't rap about killing his mama and ish that we totally could not relate to. Neither was he caught saying all that racist-ish like Feminem. But check out what 50 Snitch says here. This is the real nail in the coffin. You know, to this day, you know what's ill about him? Like, he hit me randomly. I showed you my phone the last, last time I talked to him. He, uh, he texted me and was like, yo, that, that, um, when you go fly me in private so I can land on that dick? Nigga, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> that you, you just, you said a line a, a bitch was supposed to say it made it sound cool. Right? And he said, oh, so here's some other shit, huh? What did you just it say? was random, like you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's like, yo, this guy, I'm always gonna have love for him. That's my guy. You know what I'm saying? Like the other guys, they're not gonna mean the same thing, like, right. like that. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this confirms what Vivica and the game has been saying about 50 sissies. And look at this picture here. 
look at this picture here with him and the game. This is hella suspect here. Not to mention that um, magazine cover with the much younger rapper Soldier Boy with 50 Cent all behind him like some masked bandit praying on this boy. And, and what's with these tight, tight Pee Wee Herman looking suits that 50 has been wearing? But let's say that again, y'all. He texted me and was like, yo, that... That, um, when you gonna fly me in private so I can land on that dick? This guy, I'm always gonna have love for him. That's my guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, the other guys, they're not gonna mean the same thing like, right. like that. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, 50 Sissy is taking it. There ain't no way a brother, supposedly a hetero straight brother, is going to think another man telling him something like that is cool unless he's taking it. And when I say taking it, you know where I'm talking about taking it. 50 Cent is taking it while Feminem is breaking it. And we already know that Feminem's been giving it. Feminem, he's been in drag more than Bugs Bunny. But this is your king. This is your goat. More like Pan, though. And this is 50. This is 50 right here. And here's y'all king. Here's your king. Now, watch how the stains, I mean stands, try to play this down. Well, you know, they go well. That if we had heard Nick Cannon or Jamar send a message like that to another man, they'd be straight running with it, calling them all kind of gays. And one of the stands had posted, I noticed a post with this stand trying to laugh it off, saying that this is how friends joke with each other. He <laughs> he. What friends are you talking about? Butt buddies? <laughs> and I'm waiting for those response videos from those eye bucking mouthpieces who are always doing these response videos in favor of feminism, hoping to get the more corny mainstream viewers and supporters by being black mouthpieces for white stands. They're probably going to ignore this one, hoping that nobody finds out about this recent interview. <laughs> and once again, stands, don't waste your time up in my comment section. If your first three words, if I see that your first three words type reveal that you are a stand, I'm deleting and blocking, no further reading, so don't waste your keystrokes. 